grader Amanda Mahalik admits going to a new school this week was kind of weird. You don't know where everything is, and then you you get lost just coming back from the bathroom. She's just one of nearly 600 Paideia School 15 students in Yonkers forced out of their normal building. All while the district tries to tackle a mold problem inside, stemming from a leaky roof. Parents have mixed reactions. It's just sad. You go in and there's mothers crying and they're very sad and it's just heartbreaking to see. I know they're trying their best, but just hope there's a resolution quickly. They're doing a great job. They're making the best of a situation. That's so they're handling our kids very professionally and well. Superintendent Dr. Edwin Quezada says moldy air samples came back on Monday, prompting them to evacuate the school. As of Thursday, grades 5 through 8 are temporarily attending classes here at the formerly empty St. Bartholomew's, while pre-K through 4th graders have been added to Dodson School. We will not return to School 15 until the job has been fully completed and all of the tests have been conducted and they have come back negative. At this point, the superintendent says school 15 is about 90% clean. He says they'll take new air samples tomorrow and they expect the results back on Monday. After that, he says the district and parents will decide when the students will return to the first and second floors. Quezada says the third floor is off limits since work has started to completely replace the flat part of the roof. I just hope that the new roof goes on and the children can get back to there normal school. For now, no word exactly when that'll be. In Yonkers, New York, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Well, the superintendent estimates the mold cleanup and new roof will cost about $1 million and roof work can take about two months.